rivalries gets renewed tonight here in Colorado Springs as the Tigers of Colorado College kicks off the 2019-20 season tonight playing host to the Gophers of the University of Minnesota. And we welcome you in, everybody. Josh Howe alongside Kyle Houston. And Kyle, this is a rivalry that goes back to 1947, but they've hit pause a lot. Saltgrass, we're all about great steaks, but there is a lot more to our story. Farm to table ingredients, freshly caught seafood, and our famous craft cocktails. Great certified Angus beef steaks, and a whole lot more. Come taste the greatness. Saltgrass Steakhouse. From the couldn't be prouders to the, wait, did we just winners? Everyone uses their phone differently. That's why Xfinity Mobile lets you design your own data. Now you can share it between lines, mix with unlimited, and switch it up at any time. So you only pay for what you need. It's a different kind of wireless network designed to save you money. Switch and save hundreds a year on your wireless bill. Plus, get $250 back when you buy an eligible phone. Call, click, or visit a store today. When you find something that you can't do the same way that you used to, that's when you feel like your disability hits the most. Paralyzed Veterans of America has taught veterans like myself that they can be unstoppable. One of the very first people I met was a service officer from our organization, and I was surrounded by uh, members of Paralyzed Veterans of America. Paralyzed Veterans of America, you heal the wounds we have deep down inside of us. Because of Paralyzed Veterans of America, I can do anything I want to do. PVA has helped me thrive. I was me again. It proves to me that there's nothing that can't be overcome. PVA has reminded me that I was born unstoppable. Because of Paralyzed Veterans of America, we, we, we are unstoppable.
former WCHA Robins Rare 50 2019 20 season underway here tonight. In Colorado Springs, the Broadmoor Wood Arena. The Tigers and the Gophers going out to the 250 time. A good look at Gordon and Ryan Luck as we take a look at both these lineups up and down the ice. This season, Tigers cutting off their best finish since the 2012 2015 season. The Tigers last year won 17 games. It goes to the University of Minnesota, Jack LaFontaine. He started his college career at the University of Michigan. One stops up in Ontario and the BCHL. And here he is playing in goal for the University of Minnesota. Ready to get this one on the road. Josh Hamill alongside Kyle Houston. And for the Tigers, they'll start with Chris Wilkie, Ben Kirkland, Nick Howard up top. And on the back end, it's Kyle Mayer and Zach Perzola. For the Gophers, Sandra Lanta, Scott Reed, Brandon McManus up top. And Ryan Sewersdorf and Jackson McCall, the sensational freshman on the McCrary. Gets the start in defense tonight for Bob Monskill. His second season at the helm, of course, 13 years at St. Cloud State with the Huskies. And on the flip side for Mike Havilland, what a job he has done in his sixth season here in Colorado Springs. Again, coming off the best season for CC since 2012-13. And we are underway here in Colorado Springs. And Kyle, one of the things Mike Havilland talked about, expect a lot of speed on both ends here tonight, especially in the early going. First one out of the gate for both these teams. Everybody's going to be fresh, and there's a lot of talent. And here's Wilkie, hits iron on the opening blast. Chris Wilkie, assistant captain, redshirt senior out of Omaha, Minnesota, back the other way, and that one sails wide. 32 seconds into this contest. Chris Wilkie can fire it as good as anybody in the entire country, and you saw an example there, ringing it off the crossbar. I love what Mike Havlin did. He started with that Wilkie, Copeland, and Halloran line. Wilkie and Halloran, a couple of alternate captains, two guys that have a lot to prove this year. Here's Blake McLaughlin facing off here for Minnesota Grant Crookshank. The first ever sophomore captain for Colorado College in the faceoff. Tigers win it. CC skates up along the near side. Neutral zone now. Minnesota. That shot deflected here in the neutral zone. There's Patrick Kazi for Colorado College. That line for CC. It's Kazi, Crookshank, and Slavin. Sensational freshman there on the edges for Colorado College. And that's a line that's going to have a lot of speed. Obviously, you have Crookshank in the middle. We saw the speed he had. But Kazi and Slavin, they can both really fly. And then defensively, Yoon and Sasaki Yoon. Uh, highest scoring freshman since Jaden Swartz back in 2010-11. A ton of talent on the ice right now for CC. Here come the Gophers now. They'll work it up into the CCN. Pinned along the boards. That's Ryan Johnson. First overall pick out by the Buffalo Sabres. 31st overall, but a first-round talent. 13 NHL draft picks on this Minnesota roster. Yeah, they have a lot of talent, but it's a lot of young talent as well. So these guys are getting their first taste of college action. Both teams, they were only able to play one exhibition game. CC against Trinity Western and then Minnesota against Mount Royal. So this is really the first action for a lot of these guys at this pace. So uh, be interested to see early on what the, uh, you know, these freshman class and these newcomers can do. So a change here for both teams at a faceoff. And the Gophers got to dig it out in the corner. Just about two minutes gone by here in the opening period. No score for the blue line. And banged in for the goal. Just like that, the Gophers strike. That's Tyler Nanny, the captain, the senior out of Idana. And it's 1-0 Minnesota. Well, as a defenseman, he did exactly what you're supposed to do, especially with this big ice surface. Of course, Minnesota plays on the big ice surface as well. But he got the puck in the middle of the ice. He wasted no time, and he fired a shot. No goalie in the country could save that. It was an incredible shot by the second-generation captain for Minnesota, Tyler Nanny. His grandfather, Lou Nanny, was a captain as well. Uh, but for him, he couldn't have asked for a better start to this season. Well, this Minnesota team is CC on the attack now. 
a circle behind the net. Lost 12 players from a season ago. 12 newcomers, 11 of those freshmen. Nanny, one of the experienced players, is a senior. And that puck is swallowed up in goal by Jack LaFontaine. Now a quick start here for the Gophers. They get the goal from Tyler Nanny. That's his 10th career goal. He's playing in his 76th game. It, the University of Minnesota, so face off here. Near side, Copeland coming off an unbelievable freshman season. He's out of Edina. And CC back to their own end, thrown up there by Berzola. It's Berzola and Mayer on the back end defensively for Colorado College, thrown in. Saved there by LaFontaine as he sweeps it away. Not along the far side and skating up, pinned in there defensively. Brandon McManus able to pin down that Colorado College player along the far board. And the neutrals out. CC able to skate up. This is Copeland. Copeland circles back, bumped down. Bumped by Jackson Lacombe, the freshman out of Eden Prairie. And our first penalty coming here with 17-10 to go in the opening period and boy Tigers hoping to pick up where they left off last season one of the best in all the country in the special teams department yeah, and on the power play they were very good as well and you see right off the bat too on this power play Brian Yoon is going to run things up top he's got Wilkie on the flank who we already saw what he can do with the shot so expect a lot to go through Wilkie and then also up top with Yoon so Yoon skating at the blue line. This is Wilk, a little one-two here on the near side. Yoon now throws it over far side. That pass gets cut off initially, bounces through, and over the far side is Nick Halloran. Halloran and company scrape it out to the blue line again. Yoon skates back. That puck is knocked out of midair. And you have Josiah Slavin, the brother of Jacob Slavin, a big body in front of the net. Here's Halloran. Keeps his feet, and Slavin down on his knees. That puck ricochets off far side, controlled here by Copeland. The sophomore moving in, drops it back for Wilkie. One Twitter to go on a power play, turned away again. CC, a couple of shots here on their first man advantage against Minnesota as the Tigers trail it one to nothing. And I'm not sure if that shot by Halloran didn't ring off the right post uh, to the right of Jack LaFontaine. And if it did, you, you have Wilkie who hits the crossbar. You have Halloran that hits the post. Two guys who we talked about that needed to have good starts and are, are going to be the key Hogs to this CC machine, and if they keep firing the puck like that, it's eventually going to find the back of the net. So face off here, it'll be Scott Reedy for the Gophers, and Bailey Conger, redshirt soft out of Boise, Idaho, as CC throws it in on net. Here's Crookshank now, the sophomore captain, Grant, able to skate in, they'll drop it back. Set up here, near side, throw it wide of the post, near side, CC. Down to 54 seconds to go on their opening power play opportunity here against Minnesota. That's Berard Nelly, number seven in right now here for the Tigers. Man advantage, down a goal. Just over four minutes gone by. That shot sails wide. We go clear down to the other end, and Bailey Conger skates down. The transfer out of Providence. Well, we talked about the success that CC's had on the power play and the guys that are returning, but Minnesota lost their top six forwards on the PK, so they're still trying to fill those holes, figuring out who can match up where and trying to get that PK in order. Take it away by the Gophers. They'll throw it down to the other end. Final seconds ticking away here. The first power play opportunity here for Colorado College. Through the neutral zone, Wilkie. Not able to handle it, and the Gophers will kill off the opening power play here for Colorado College, holding on to this 1-0 lead. 15.03 to go in the opening period. And now you have an icing call. And for CC, you can take advantage because you have the freshman, Jackson Lacombe, coming out of the penalty box. He's heading to get a change. He's a defenseman that's going to have to play forward on this defensive zone faceoff. So you got the top line out right now for the Tigers and Halloran, Copeland, and Wilkie. Halloran will face it off. 
And for the Gophers, it's the sophomore captain, Sammy Walker, McLaughlin and Burke up top. And CC dropping it back here. That's Sasaki. Played up ahead. Copeland drops it off. Wilkie fires, and it's ricocheted wide. Two crossbars for Chris Wilkie in the opening five-plus minutes of this game. Now an active shooter here for the CC Tigers. Wilkie weaving in and out of traffic. Sasaki, good block there on the part of Ben Brinkman. And Sasaki was just a little bit too slow on that uh, attempt towards the front of the net. He had Ben Copeland right there uh, looking for a stick, but just a half second too late and allowed a guy to get into the shooting lane. Nice check there by the Gophers as Copeland hits the ice. The CC resets here. Defensively, Yoon. Sasaki back. They'll throw it up. It's off the stick of Alex Baradinelli. A lot of Baradinelli, Goss, and Versich. Throw it in. Puck still loose and scooped up on the stick of Zulsdorf. And a long skate over there for Connor Mayer. Freshman out of Champlin, Minnesota. And quiet crowd here early on. And boy, Minnesota took them out of the game here. Less than two minutes in off the goal of Tyler Nami. And that is where we stand now with Minnesota. One goal advantage as Tyler Nanny skates it up. But I do like the response by CC. It didn't seem to affect them that much, and they've had much better chances. I mean, you, you think about it, Wilkie's hit the crossbar twice, Halloran hit the post, so they've had their opportunities. Slavin battles as Minnesota works into the CCN. They'll skate it up. Tigers in the home yellow tonight, and they'll work it up to speedy Patrick Kazi. Slammed along the boards. Here's Crookshank slotting in. Grant now fires. And that puck is smothered up by LaFontaine. Timeout on the ace. 1-0 Minnesota with the lead. The new guacamole double cheeseburger from Carl's Jr. is only $299. It's $2.99. We forgot the decimal point. Only $2.99 for a burger with guacamole? The latest charbroiled double deal is only $2.99 at Carl's Jr. This is Jerry. Jerry has a membership to this gym, but he's not using it. And he has subscriptions to a music service he doesn't listen to and five streaming video services he doesn't watch. This is Jerry learning that he's still paying for this stuff he's not using. He's seeing his recurring payments in Control Tower in the Wells Fargo mobile app. This is Jerry canceling a few things. Booyah. This is Jerry appreciating the people who made this possible. Oh, look, there they are. This is Wells Fargo. Thanks to Pizza Hut's $7.99 large pizza deal, it's never been easier to bring everyone to the table. Get an oven-hot large pizza with three of your favorite toppings for just $7.99. That's right, $7.99. Because no one out pizzas the hut. Back here at the Broadmoor Road Arena in Colorado Springs is Minnesota and Colorado College going at it for the 255th time. And it's the Gophers with the edge in this one. Tyler and Annie, 153. Uh, the opening period gets the goal, and that is the difference right now as the Tigers trail the Gophers 1-0. Josh Howe, Kyle Houston, and uh, Kyle, since that opening goal, CC, they, they have settled in. They, they really have. They had, uh, I thought it was a pretty good power play. There's still some things to work on on that man advantage, but ultimately, they're getting the shots. They're getting the scoring chances right around the net. They've been testing Jack LaFontaine, who, even though he is a junior, he doesn't have a ton of college experience. This Gophers team, they lost all three goaltenders, so it's three brand new guys, and that will be a kind of a, a goalie by committee until somebody grabs it, but I do like the way CC's played early on. And the Tigers back defensively, it's Yoon Sasaki. Sasaki here over the near side, they'll get it through the neutral zone, it's Crickshank. LaFontaine behind the net, throws it out. Ryan Johnson and company back to the CCN, and Icing down to the other end, so we skate it down to the gopher end here. 12.27 to go here in this opening period. 
know, these two teams both in tough, tough conferences. Of course, the Tigers, the NCHC, the last four national champions, and Minnesota out of the Big Ten. Going to be a grind, and they are just getting this season underway, and what a way to start out. Two former WCHA rivals is Minnesota playing here with the early lead, taking away mid-ice. It's that line of Halloran, Copeland, and Wilkie. It's one of those situations, Josh, where if you're either team, you hope you sweep the weekend, and then you hope that the other team goes undefeated the rest of the way. With the quality of opponents that you, you play, it just helps your pairwise rankings towards the end of the year. So if you're Minnesota, you're going, man, CC's going to be playing Duluth. They're going to be playing DU. They're going to be playing North Dakota. On the other side, you got got Penn State, Notre Dame, Wisconsin, who's going to be a great team this year. So it, it's a, a fantastic way and a fantastic test for each team in the first series of the year. Both these teams receiving votes coming into the season opener. On the back end, it's Jackson Lacombe. Zulsdorf for Minnesota. Skate there for Zach Berzola. Pressured by Ranta. Up the board of the far side and we'll go down to the other end to face it off. 11.43 to go. Now for Minnesota. And they've got a pair here against Colorado College tonight and tomorrow, and then at home against Niagara the 18th and 19th. And well, for Colorado College, well, Big Ten back-to-back. -back. Minnesota this weekend, a week off, and then the mighty Spartans of Michigan State come to town. Yeah, and it's not often that you get to play a school like Michigan State either if you're if you're Colorado College. So I, I think that if you're you're Mike Cavlin and you're looking at your team and you want to know who you have, who the who the young guys are that are uh, are going to step up for you, there's no better way to start the season than these two, uh, first two series. That puck thrown up on the tires in front of the CC Nat and a save there by Rock. Uh, hey, they had an opening, but Ruck able to come up with a stop. Keep this a 1-0 game. There's Nick Halloran. Now the Tigers avoiding trouble here and a change. And a fresh five on the ice right now for Colorado College. That's Pernitsky. Back defensively for CC. Now Minnesota. Had some opportunities, three shots on goal. CC was six already. And it ran to LaFontaine, able to sweep it out of harm's way. Over to the far side, far boards, it's Conzo. Conzo. Drop back here in the far circle. And CC not able to keep possession. Zinski. Sasaki and Yoon. Defenseman for the Tigers still a filling out process. This is obviously game number one of what promises to be a long grinding season for both these teams. And no doubt a filling out process here in the opening period. Just about 10 minutes gone by. And the first action, regular season action of the season for both these teams. Over to the near side as Minnesota throws it in. And just in front of the crease is CC able to clear it out of harm's way. Brodzinski behind him, throw it up over the crossbar. Long skate over for Brinkman. Gophers controlling here on this possession. Low shot, wide of the post, far side. That's Ryan Johnson skating out back to Brinkman here in the neutral zone. Inside a 10 to play here in this first period. And after CC had some of those chances, Minnesota has responded with some chances of their own. They're getting some good play in the offensive zone, good zone time, and they're making the most of it. Great feed, just misses, and then Brinkman secured by Ryan Ruck. But we talked a lot about the newcomers for Colorado College, but one of the experienced newcomers, Ryan Ruck, comes up with the stop there. 9.17 to go. The Gophers with a 1-0 lead. This week only, large two-topping pizzas at Domino's are only $5.99 each when you carry out. That's why we had to bring in the big guns. Dennis Strand, Domino's four-time world's fastest pizza maker. Carry out any large two-topping pizza for $5.99 this week only. 
You went to college. You're smart. So why are you getting ripped off on your student loans? At Credible.com, we've helped tens of thousands of people save money by refinancing their student loans. In three minutes, we'll get you actual rates from multiple lenders. We could save you hundreds of dollars a month by refinancing to a lower rate. Don't get ripped off on your student loans. Let's focus on your future, not your debt. Visit Credible.com and in three minutes, see how much you could save. Wish we could afford to buy new furniture. What is this? It's your breakthrough from Cons Home Plus. Cons Low Payment Finder finds the lowest payment tailored to you. Good credit or building credit. Wow. A 7-5 shot advantage for Colorado College, but the Gophers have the lead thanks to the goal by Tyler and Annie. Less than two minutes in, face off here near side. Minnesota wins it. Now to the Gopher end. That's Jackson Lacombe, Ryan Zulsdorf defensively there for Minnesota. And for Colorado College, Connor Mayer, Zach Berzola countering here for Mike Hamilton's team. Berzola. Works it up here. That's Josiah Slavin for just a freshman. Really high expectations. This kid can play number 27. They'll skate it behind the net. Berzola, no, can't get a lot of stick on that shot. And Minnesota able to control. They'll skate out of there with the puck. The Gophers, it's Nathan Burke. And defensively, CC able to skate with them there. And Connor Mayer, another freshman out of Champlin, Minnesota. And the change here is Minnesota looks to send it right down the slot. Just missed. Quickly on the counter. Colorado College now. They'll skate into Yoon and turned away by LaFontaine. Well, that was a great pass from Wilkie. Just a little area pass as Yoon, the defenseman, jumped up in the play. Wilkie winds and fires the cleanup. And finally, LaFontaine, no, he can't secure CC. A couple of good looks. Out shooting the Gophers 10-5, trying to slip one through here. That's Copeland, still loose. And on the back end, cleaned up by Pernitsky, keeps it in the Gopher end. Wilkie, long skate out, dumps it back. Along the near boards, gets by Copeland. And now Minnesota trying to reset. I'm not sure if I've seen a guy that's had as many chances that haven't gone his way in a short period of time as Chris Wilkie. Take it away there, Berzola. And now a whistle, and the crowd here at the Broadmoor World Arena responding. It was a, a close offside play, but you think about uh, Wilkie, a couple of crossbars, and then he has a shot off the, the low pad where LaFontaine kind of had to just stick out his pad and stop it. He's got an opportunity, he had an opportunity for three goals, really. I mean, that was very close on the, the offsides call, but it, it, it's such a tough call when there's movement going back and forth, and, and you're that linesman there. So Middendorf, Conger, Conzo, the line right now offensively for Colorado College. Here's Middendorf, big bump along the board, far side. Sasaki skates in, picks it up in the neutral zone. It's Middendorf. Sasaki trying to dig it out of there is Troy Conzo for CC. Tigers still trying to find their rhythm. They've had some shots, a two to one shot advantage, 10 shots to five, CC over Minnesota, but the Gophers making the most of their opportunity and gloved there by Ruck, swept away and then picked up here by the Tigers in the slot. What a stand defensively there by Colorado College. And tough luck for Tyler Nanny breaking a stick. And that's LaFontaine able to secure. So, both goalies getting some work in here in the opening period. And if you're a freshman, Connor Mayer, you're getting thrown right into the action, facing a, a three-on-one after kind of a bouncing puck in the neutral zone. It, I don't typically like seeing guys go long body on those odd man rushes, but he did the right thing, I think, in that situation because Ranta didn't really have an angle to shoot, so it allowed Ruck to get his angle as a goaltender and make a solid save. So for Minnesota, it's Pervix, Myers, Brodzinski. A three up top for Bob Motzko's team. 
CC through the neutral zone there. Baradinelli turns. Baradinelli, the senior captain out of Pittsburgh. What a career he's had. And boy, trying to finish this thing the right way his senior season. He has been so special to what Mike Haviland has built here in his sixth season in Colorado Springs. Throw it up here, Baradinelli able to push it back. Goss coming over to help. Goss, the transfer, grad transfer out of Yale. At mid-ice now, the Tigers able to push it up. That's Versich. And deflected away there by Minnesota defensively at Zulsdorf. Yeah, uh, and, and CC again uh, doing a good job getting some pressure after a little bit from Minnesota. Now, both these coaches said, hey, these first four games, it is a feeling out process, as you would expect here in game number one of the regular season. And off the board there. On a CCN, Minnesota here, skating with the lead, approaching the five minute mark remaining in this opening period of play. The Gophers throw it in, the crossing pass, and the puck still headed to the CCN. Over to pick it up, off the stick of Joey Marooney. This crowd really quiet here. CC trying to get the home fans in this one here in the opening period of play. There's two seasons left in this building. Of course, CC moving into a brand new arena here in this 21-22 season. A tighter venue, but no doubt want to send out the fans here the final two seasons in style. And the Tigers able to come up with the puck here and Try to work it back and look out, turnover Copeland and the quick shot taken there by Blake McLaughlin. And Ben Copeland, he, he, if you watch him in December or January, he won't be making that play. And moving in and a stop there by Ryan Ruck. They blow it dead with 3.59 to go here in the first. Time out of the ice. The Gophers skating with the lead here in Colorado Springs. When Colorado College Tiger Hockey first took the ice in 1938, Olsen Plumbing and Heating had already been in the game for over 20 years. Since that time, many seasons have come and gone, but their commitment to excellence has remained the number one goal for both teams. Colorado College Tiger Hockey and Olsen Plumbing and Heating, two great teams who know their way around the pipes. Proud sponsors of Colorado College Tiger Hockey. Olsen Plumbing and Heating, celebrating over a century of service. This is Jerry. Jerry has a membership to this gym, but he's not using it. And he has subscriptions to a music service he doesn't listen to and five streaming video services he doesn't watch. This is Jerry learning that he's still paying for this stuff he's not using. He's seeing his recurring payments in Control Tower in the Wells Fargo mobile app. This is Jerry canceling a few things. Booyah. This is Jerry appreciating the people who made this possible. Oh, look, there they are. This is Wells Fargo. Tiger fans, don't forget this is one of five games that will be televised on AT&T Sportsnet this season, including the matchup with the Denver Pioneers December the 14th. Our next telecast coming up Friday, October the 25th, when the Tigers take on the Spartans of Michigan State at 7.30. AT&T Sportsnet, your home for Colorado College Hockey. Now face off here at a CCN to open up. Out of the break, with just under four to play. It's Reedy McManus, Ranta, offensively here for the University of Minnesota and defensively, CC trying to come up with a stop in front of the net. And Ruck is sprawling and they somehow keep it out of the net. Tremendous play there. All hands on deck to keep it a one goal deficit. Well, Jackson Lacombe, the, the defenseman, the freshman for Minnesota, he did a, a very good job jumping up in the play. He recognizes that he can't go to the strong side, so he wraps it around and throws it right in front of the net. Rampa, uh, Ranta rather, was right there, but Ruck did a good job of staying with the puck. So here we go, Crookshank to face off for C.C. Reedy for Minnesota, and this is a line Mike Haviland loves. It's Slavin, Crookshank, and Kazi, a sophomore and two freshmen. C.C. wins it. 
And all the way down to the other end is Patrick Cozzi. And Mike Havlin said that he expects to have production and depth from all four lines this season. What a move. And then poked away from behind. Good defense as CC trying to move in for yet another shot. They've had 11 shots on goal here. And an opportunity. Two on one. The shot. Quick shake. Grabbed around. And then LaFontaine somehow able to hold on to the puck. Well, I love this play from Slavin and from Crookshank. Crookshank coming right down the middle. Slavin recognizes it and, and makes a great pass. And Crookshank doesn't try to get cute with it, doesn't try to pass back door. He just fires a shot. LaFontaine got a glove on it. But I'm not sure, Josh, if he knew right away that he had that because it popped up and then he did a good job of staying with it and you know, somehow navigating through all of those bodies that were coming towards it. So Cons on a face off here for CC. And try to sneak it by LaFontaine. Minnesota able to skate out of there with the puck. Approaching three minutes to go here in this first period. The Tigers work it back. That's Middendorf. You've got Middendorf, Conger, Conzo offensively on the ice right now for Mike Havlin's team. And then defensively, it's Sasaki and Brian Yoon. Sasaki, a freshman, paired up with the sophomore out of Parker, Brian Yoon. Yeah, Sasaki is going to be a, a great player for this Tigers team. He's the all-time leading scorer among defensemen for the Wenatchee Wild out of the BCHL. Uh, nearly a giveaway, trouble there, and clearly first one out of the gate still knocking the rust off. Absolutely, and you're going you're gonna to find that in this game. You're going to find that tomorrow night. You're even going to find it uh, in the series in a couple of weeks against Michigan State. Guys, whether you're, you're a freshman, whether you're a sophomore, you, you can't replicate the game experience, and so you practice it all you want. You get on the ice, and but you really, you've only had that one exhibition game, and there was five lines in that exhibition game, a ton of other guys. Well, coming up, oh, lots of hockey here on AT&T Sportsnet, Michigan State, Denver, Omaha, Minnesota, Duluth. You're home for CC Hockey here in the 2019-20 season. Now, what you would expect, obviously, two great rivals going back to 1947, but we knew both coaches talked about it. An adjustment period here in game one, number one of the regular season. Well, it's an adjustment period. Anytime you bring in the new guys, whether it's five freshmen, six freshmen, but on CC's end, you got eight freshmen. You have 11 on Minnesota's side. It's almost unheard of to hear a, in, in college hockey. So both coaches know that early on, it's about getting their guys reps. It's about getting them comfortable and accustomed to the game. That's Cristiano Versic. Alex Brunner-Nelli near the puck. And defensively, Pernitsky smith back for Colorado College. Here's Brunner-Nelli pinned up along the board by Zulsdorf. And Minnesota able to come away with the puck. That's Jackson Lacombe, the freshman, and then a whistle to stop play with 1.36 to go here in the first. Alex Bardinelli was battling behind the net, and his uh, bucket came off. But uh, now CC will get an opportunity off the, in the offensive zone. One thing that we've noticed is, well, actually, it's going to be just outside the zone. But when CC's had the, the face-offs in the offensive zone, Mike Havlin has gone consistently to Wilkie, Copeland, and Halloran. He likes those offensive presence right off the bat. Walker and Copeland facing off, and Minnesota skates away. Blake McLaughlin. But he's challenged. CC now with a puck. Out of the run in now. Quickly into the neutral zone. The Tigers trying to race this one goal deficit. They'll set it up behind the net. And a big rush is turned away here by the Gophers. That's Copeland. Digs it out of there. Approaching the one minute mark to go here in period number one. Minnesota. Trying to win here in the 255th meeting. CC would love to get this season jump started with a big time victory against one of their great rivals over the history of this program. CC in its 81st season of hockey thrown in wide of the post, far side. Here we go, Halloran up the far side. Here's Wilkie. Wilkie gonna skate in. There's Halloran. Halloran waits, waits, and he misses Wilkie. 
An opportunity goes by the wayside here with under 40 seconds to go. A good look, though, for the Tigers. It, it really was, and I don't mind that pass in the back door. Wilkie was wide open and just took a bad bounce. Here comes Crookshank. The left side of Crookshank Middendorf. Final 15 seconds. There's Slavin battling for Colorado College. Kazi on the ice as well with Slavin, Crookshank, Kazi, and there's Slavin thrown in, deflected up off the net with 1.9 showing on the clock. If you're CC, the two guys that you want on a two-on-one are Chris Wilkie and Nick Halloran. They got it because Ben Brinkman from Minnesota fell down trying to stay with Halloran, and they just missed it. But a really good opportunity right off the draw here. Let's see what CC's able to draw up. So Grant Crookshank will face it off against Scott Reedy. Crookshank, the sophomore captain, and Reedy wins it, and that will do it. Well, 20 minutes in the books. And the Gophers of Minnesota with the lead. We'll take a timeout back here to the Bob Moore World Arena after this. With the all-new... Bring all your scrap metal to C&D Scrap, and I'm going to pay in $2 bills. And I'm going to give you two Sunday tickets to the 45th anniversary of the Texas Renaissance Festival. Pardon me, I've been photobombed on television? Oh, scrap! Huzzah! <laughs> Hi, I'm Tillman Fertitta, and in my book, Shut Up and Listen, I'm giving entrepreneurs and small business owners straightforward strategies that will help take your business to the next level. Now, shut up and listen to make your business all that it can possibly be. New book available now where books are sold. Metro has a plan for traffic, whether you ride or drive. The plan calls for 500 miles of travel improvements, including a new Metro Rapid service with buses that operate like rail cars, more light rail, and commuter service, more service for the elderly and disabled, plus more money for road improvements. All of that with no new taxes. Election Day is November 5th. Learn more at metronext.org. Happy 40th anniversary, Dennis. Bring all your scrap metal to C&D. And I'm going to pay in $2 bills. And I'll give you two Sunday tickets to... The 45th Texas Renaissance Festival. Huzzah! Is it still good to be the king? It tastes good. Hi, I'm Richard Petty. I may be champion on the racetrack, but what I'm most proud of is being a champion of veterans like Chris Hall. Chris was injured while serving in the Army. Because of the Paralyzed Veterans of America, I was able to get the health care and benefits I need. And now I live an active life. I currently play wheelchair rugby for the only all-veteran team in the country and mentor other veterans with disabilities when I can. More than 44,000 veterans live with spinal cord injuries and disease. Paralyzed Veterans of America help these veterans secure health care, benefits, and jobs. The programs and services at the Paralyzed Veterans of America, like Adaptive Sports, have changed my life. After my injury, I never thought I'd play sports, travel the world, or have so many people supporting me. Paralyzed Veterans of America has given me a support system for life. To learn how you can join me and be a champion for veterans like Chris, visit pva.org slash champions. Welcome back to the Broadmoor World Arena here in Colorado Springs where the Tigers of Colorado College trailing the Gophers of the University of Minnesota here in intermission number one by a score of one to nothing. Well, two seasons to go at the Broadmoor World Arena. So many memories. What a special place this has been, but they are creating a new home for CC Tiger Hockey. In the 2021-22 season, the Tigers will open up in a brand new building on campus. Here's more on the future Tigers home. With the two games, so you can see the subject of the park. It always has been in college. 
college hockey. I think it's just the landscape has changed. So each and every one of these kids have advisors now at 14 and 15, and and the kids that we're recruiting, and and uh, you know it's 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 very competitive. And to have a state of the art facility where guys are going to train and their guys are going to rehab and guys are going to uh, feel like that you can get them to the next level, uh, it means a lot to them. And uh, you know we've never played a game on campus and we want that atmosphere of a hard building to come into where it's loud and, ruck and, and rowdy and um, this is a great building and it's a wonderful building and great memories. Uh, you know, it's just the next chapter of, of this program is, is to have a, uh, our own home right on campus and for not only the players, but also all of our students and faculty. Yeah, it's going to be huge just to be able to share it with um, some of the other students at the school and, and the staff and uh, to be able to play on campus is just going to be awesome for this program and um, to be able to sell out every night is going to be unbelievable and uh, it's going to make it a very hot ticket in town, which is ultimately what you want. So. Um, I think it's just going to be it's going to be awesome for us to be able to to go to the rink whenever we want. Uh, you know, if we want to get some extra work in, just to to be able to walk over to the rink is going to be um, you know huge for us and and to be able to get better and and like I said, share that with our fans and with the students and, and the school itself is uh, it's going to be awesome. We're really looking forward to it. Well, offices will be there, you know, our weight room, our training facilities, you know, for our trainer, you know, equipment, you know, we'll have theater room, we'll have hot and cold tubs and, um, you know, so we'll have everything right there at our fingertips and, and the kids can walk across the street. This week on a special season preview edition of Rockets All Access, the team is back with a new look and new faces. New chapter in my life, and I'm excited to take it on and looking forward to bringing great things to the city of Houston. Coach D'Antoni weighs in on a competitive Western Conference. You know, you could win the Western Conference, and you might not make the playoffs. I think it's going to be that close. And check out James Harden's JH Town Weekend. I'm going to tell you, that's what you like to see. All this week on Rockets All Access on AT&T Sportsnet. I finally made it. I'm on the Rich Eisen Show. There he is. <laughs> Everyone who sees me thinks I'm a winner. What the blank are you talking about? <laughs> who goes to a tourist attraction in your own city? You know what we did? We made it okay to wear flip-flops outside. <laughs> they gave me the Telestrator at one point. It was amazing. That's what happened. You want to get some chowder? I hate clam chowder. Who are these people? And nuts. <laughs> it tastes like somebody already ate it and then spit it back into the bowl. <laughs> Looks the same way. <laughs> This piece is reminiscent of that Brockian cubism from the early 20th century. Mm, quite. Incredible. A masterpiece. I I'm speechless. Your life doesn't revolve around energy efficiency, but by admiring it, you can save money and improve our community. Install a new smart thermostat and get a $50 rebate. Visit CSU.org. When Colorado College Tiger Hockey first took the ice in 1938, Olsen Plumbing and Heating had already been in the game for over 20 years. Since that time, many seasons have come and gone, but their commitment to excellence has remained the number one goal for both teams. Colorado College Tiger Hockey and Olsen Plumbing and Heating, two great teams who know their way around the pipes. Proud sponsors of Colorado College Tiger Hockey, Olsen Plumbing and Heating, celebrating over a century of service. Texas Southern takes on Missouri s and tomorrow at 2 on AT&T Sportsnet. Welcome back to the Broadmoor World Arena here in Colorado Springs. By the numbers at the opening period, Kyle, and well, CC and Minnesota, well, both certainly getting their opportunities here in the first 20 minutes of play. Colorado College had so many great A scoring chances. We talked about in the first period that Chris Wilkie hit the crossbar twice. Halloran hit the post. Wilkie had another opportunity. Then those two had a two-on-one. So they're getting their chances. They're really testing Jack LaFontaine. But the big one that matters right now is that Minnesota won and CC nothing as Tyler Nanny went bar down on an excellent shot from the point. 
point. Yeah, Toddler Nanny getting the goal less than two minutes in. His 10th career goal. Obviously, a defenseman coming up with the big goal to get the scoring started in this one here tonight. Well, for Colorado College, 13 shots. If you're Mike Havlin here in this first intermission, you have to be pleased. Offensively, you're giving your team opportunities, and some close opportunities at that, a lot off the iron in particular from Chris Wilkie. Well, I, I would say just keep keep with it, guys. I mean, you're doing all the right things, so it's been uh, great to see from the, the CC Tigers. The numbers, we'll take a look at the highlights. When we come back, it's the Tigers and the Gophers from Colorado Springs back after this. At Bo Days are built on mornings. And Whataburger is built on burgers. Mornings, burgers. Morning burgers? Hmm. Yeah, all right. Good thing there's a burger made just for breakfast. Topped with breakfast. Good thing there's the new limited time breakfast burger at Whataburger. Wish we could afford to buy new furniture. What is this? It's your breakthrough from Cons Home Plus. Cons Low Payment Finder finds the lowest payment tailored to you. Good credit or building credit. Wow. Stay connected this October during the Stroh's quest to take it back. Follow AT&T Sportsnet on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram for player interviews, analysis, and exclusive postseason coverage. When I was a kid, I wanted to be just like Cal Ripken. It's definitely humbling to know that now people are calling me a hero. We were doing a push into Taliban territory. Instead of finding the IED with my metal detector, the IED found me first, and that resulted in double above knee amputations. There are people now that are looking up to you for their inspiration and to be their role model. Nice sir. to meet you. Good. To meet Good. You. How are you doing? Meeting Cal for the first time was surreal. I mean, it's hard to describe the feeling of meeting somebody that you've always wanted to be like. You're realizing that there are people now that are looking up to you for their inspiration and to be their role model. And so it certainly is sobering and it comes with a weight of responsibility. It's so important that we continue to help veterans into the foreseeable future. For more information, visit saluteheroes.org. Springs intermission number one the CC trails the Gophers of the University of Minnesota by a score of one to nothing. Josh Howe, Kyle Hewson back at the Broadmoor World Arena. And Kyle, as we take a look at the highlights, it was Minnesota jumping out to the early quick start here on the road. Yeah, less than two minutes in. Tyler Nanny, the senior co-captain, he collects the puck in the middle of the ice and then he winds up and fires just over the blocker of Ryan Ruck. An unbelievable shot from Nanny and what a way to start things out. But a good response out of Mike Havlin's team. They had 13 shots in that opening period. Certainly some great opportunities. Well, you, you see causing turnovers. That top line uh, really of uh, Wilkie, Copeland, and Halloran had a number of good opportunities. They tested Jack LaFontaine a number of times. Great shot by Crookshank, and I, I think that you just have to keep with it in this second period and fire shots towards net. Well, a lot of youth on the ice, a lot of young talent, but certainly veteran experience experience for both goalies gonna be fun the final two periods of play one down two to go back to Colorado Springs for the second period right after this this is Jerry Jerry has a membership to this gym but he's not using it and he has subscriptions to a music service he doesn't listen to and five streaming video services he doesn't watch this is Jerry learning that he's still paying for this stuff he's not using. He's seeing his recurring payments in Control Tower in the Wells Fargo mobile app. This is Jerry canceling a few things. Booyah. This is Jerry appreciating the people who made this possible. Oh, look, there they are. This is Wells Fargo. Thanks to Pizza Hut's $7.99 large pizza deal, it's never been easier to bring everyone to the table. Get an oven-hot large pizza with three of your favorite toppings for just $7.99. That's right, $7.99.
because no one out pizzas the hut. When Colorado College Tiger Hockey first took the ice in 1938, Olsen Plumbing and Heating had already been in the game for over 20 years. Since that time, many seasons have come and gone, but their commitment to excellence has remained the number one goal for both teams. Colorado College Tiger Hockey and Olsen Plumbing and Heating, two great teams who know their way around the pipes. Proud sponsors of Colorado College Tiger Hockey, Olsen Plumbing and Heating, celebrating over a century of service. The new guacamole double cheeseburger from Carl's Jr. is only $299. It's $2.99. We forgot the decimal point. Only $2.99 for a burger with guacamole? The latest Charbroil double deal is only $2.99 at Carl's Jr. This piece is reminiscent of that Brockian cubism from the early 20th century. Mmm, quite. Incredible. A masterpiece. Uh, I'm speechless. Your life doesn't revolve around energy efficiency, but by admiring it, you can save money and improve our community. Install a new smart thermostat and get a $50 rebate. Visit csu.org. Texas Southern takes on Missouri s and tomorrow at 2 on at and Sportsnet. Tonight's Colorado College Tiger hockey game on AT&T Sportsnet is brought to you by Wells Fargo. Proud sponsor of CC Tiger Hockey and home of the Wells Fargo Tigers debit card. Olsen Plumbing and Heating. Building our reputation for over 100 years. Call or visit online at olsenph.com and buy Pizza Hut. For a limited time, get a two-topping large pizza for just $7.99. Order online at pizzahut.com. Remember, no one out pizzas the hut. Josh Howe, Kyle Houston back here in beautiful Colorado Springs on a chilly Friday night. And the Gophers, well, the hot, quick start. The goal less than two minutes in. That's a difference. CC, they've settled in. And boy, in goal, what a luxury if you're head coach Mike Haviland. You've got a grad transfer at Ryan Ruck. Obviously played behind a first-round pick at Northeastern, but this is a guy that won a Northeast Hockey Championship, an East Hockey Championship, and certainly a ton of experience, even though this is game number one this season for Rock. This is his 87th career game, and when you lose Alex LeClaire, who was the, the mainstay in net for you the past couple of years, you needed a guy to come in and be able to provide this experience, and Ryan Ruck is just the guy to do it. Now yeah, the Tigers try to settle in here in the second period. They've got Copeland, Howler, and Wilkie to start things out here. And defensively, it's Brazola and Mayer. And for Minnesota, Bob Motzko goes with Ranta Reedy McManus offensively for the Golden Gophers. There's Brazola there and picked up by Jackson Lacombe. Lacombe. A freshman second round pick for the Gophers throws it back along the board. Minnesota throws it in the slot and a great job by Brazola to poke that puck away. A really good job by Zach Brazola, but uh, Lacombe, you mentioned second round pick, 39th overall. There was some talk that he might go in the first round, but an early second round pick, and uh, he has played very well jumping up in the play. There's Ranta skating over in the slot. The Gophers throw it over, and shot of the far side, and in position is Rock. Granted out. Player of the World Juniors. And what a talent. A sophomore out of Finland. 16 points in his freshman year at Minnesota. There's Sasaki for Colorado College. Quick turn there by Sammy Walker. You've got the line of Burke, Walker, McLaughlin on the ice right now. And right down the slot. And able to handle the puck, throw it back. And there's Slavin trying to pursue. Two Gophers around the puck. And Minnesota able to win it. They'll throw it up. There's you to the far corner going to work for CC. And a good job of the sophomore out of Parker. But just persistence by Minnesota there. Yeah, Sammy Walker, you see why he was named a, a sophomore co-captain and how skilled he is. There's McLaughlin. They'll throw it back. Yoon is right there in front of the net. Tigers trying to skate away with the puck. They will. Picked up off the stick of Kazi and tumbling over the mid-ice line. That's Brian Yoon. Well, Yoon was trying to poke the puck forward and... 
Ben Brinkman got the leg extended against them. You see, Yoon was out of the way, and that's on Brinkman. You see his head right away. He knew that that was not an acceptable hit. And so now the Tigers will be able to go on the power play. The second man advantage tonight for CC. They're 0 for 1. Try to cash in here. We got Halloran, Copeland, Wilkie, Slavin, and Yoon. Looking to get it done. Now they're going to have Mayer on the ice now. Mike Havlin, of course, trying to mix things up, and this is how they look in their second man advantage tonight. This is Mayer throwing in. Here we go. CC Elect throwing in, turned away. There's Slavin. Battle stick far side. Wilkie. Here's Mayer. Behind him is Haller, and pass gets away, and Minnesota able to throw it back down to the CCN. And yeah, Mayer's out there, too, because Yoon was stuck on a, a long shift in the defensive zone, uh, and then he was the one that took that uh, penalty against Brinkman. So thrown over by Halloran. There's Wilkie. Halloran now. Slavin. Look near side. It's Halloran. Thrown back to Nick. Cross ice pass and just misses. Rebound scooped up. Halloran throws it over. Wilkie long skate with 105 to go here in a second man advantage tonight for Colorado College. You see the vision that Nick Halloran has, and you see the shot that Wilkie has. It was a little bit off balance for him, but he was in a shooting position and fired it. Crook shake now in on the ice. There comes Yoon at the blue line. Yoon thrown in, and LaFontaine gloves it here. 44 seconds to go on this man advantage for CC. Well, I've really liked the play of Jack LaFontaine today for Minnesota. He is uh, faced every shot, turned it away. He's faced traffic in front of the net, some redirections, and yeah, he's gotten a little help from his friends, uh, the, the, the iron. So I, I, we talked about how Minnesota lost three goaltenders. Somebody was going to have to step up and try to solidify that spot. LaFontaine is making his case right now. Conger on a faceoff. They'll go near side to Crookshank. Thrown in the rebound. Middendorf trying to scoop it up. Back to Crookshank. Grant now sets it up just inside the blue line. CC here. 30 seconds to go on a power play. Ryan Yoon, he's got Crookshank right side. Grant retreats here as Minnesota settles in. 20 seconds to go on this man advantage for Colorado College. Crookshank knocked away and swept forward defensively. The Gophers able to get it done. The stick of Matt Stodiker. A really good stick from Stodiker. Final five seconds. They'll work it up in a hurry. That's Bailey Conger and company. And they killed it off. So another penalty kill here for Minnesota. Still an opportunity for CC. Thrown in there quickly by Middendorf. Here's Yoon back in the Colorado College in. And that was going to be one of the big questions going into the season. Uh, and I think it still will continue to be for the Golden Gophers. But they have done a really good job in their first two uh, man, or man disadvantages, rather, for them. Uh, but I've liked what I've seen on the PK. Minnesota throws it in. Brian Yoon picking it up here for Colorado College. That's Middendorf. He's got a man up ahead. And... Not able to connect with Troy Conzo. Approaching the 15-minute mark remaining here in the second. If you just joined us, Tyler and Annie scored the only goal of this contest less than two minutes in. A lot of opportunities for both these teams. 15-11, CC with a shot advantage. Trailing on the scoreboard, though, by a goal. And both coaches this week, they said that uh, they knew it would be a back-and-forth game, that both teams would be ready to go. And it really, it, it's been what both of them have thought, I think, because you've seen a lot of opportunities from CC, and then the ice shifts a little bit towards the Minnesota end, then back and forth. So uh, it, it's been a great first college hockey game for a lot of these guys and uh, for the, to, uh, a good way to start the season. Goss and Myers face off. CC wins it. There's Berardinelli. A little bit of shot there by Ben Myers in Minnesota. Skating back is Pradinsky. 
And challenged right there. A stick of Perbix. A physical play. And Mike Hamlin say, hey, we want to skate fast, but we want to skate through. Play hard, physical hockey. And we've seen it here. Less than five minutes. A little more than five minutes gone by here in this second period. And here's Berardinelli, the senior captain. Alex able to handle the puck, drop it back. Here we go. Trying to throw one through the slot to Conzo, not able to handle it. That pass got deflected just a bit to throw it off course. There's Berzola throwing up, but a change here for both sides. Is that top line back on the ice with Copeland, Halloran, and Wilkie. And Berzola there to the CCN. Shifty move from Zach Berzola. Here's Halloran skating in. Halloran denied by LaFontaine. He has made play after play tonight. LaFontaine comes up with his 16th save and a beauty. 1-0, the Gophers leading in Colorado Springs. Bring all your scrap metal to C&D Scrap, and I'm going to pay you in $2 bills. And I'm going to give you two Sunday tickets to the 45th anniversary of the Texas Renaissance Festival. Pardon me, I've been photobombed on television? Oh, scrap! Huzzah! Your business is up and running, but is it going beyond fast? Comcast Business gives you high-speed internet. We also have solutions like powerful Wi-Fi that gives your entire business more coverage and automatic internet backup that can keep your business running. And it all starts with our gig speed network. So give us 10 minutes. If we can't offer you faster speed or better savings than your current internet service, we'll give you $300 for your time. Call now to get your Comcast Business 10-minute advantage. Comcast Business. Beyond fast. Happy 40th anniversary, Dennis. Bring all your scrap metal to C&D. And I'm going to pay you in $2 bills. And I'll give you two Sunday tickets to the 45th Texas Renaissance Festival. Huzzah! Is it still good to be the king? It tastes good. Fans, don't many of the CC Tiger action coming up here on AT&T Sportsnet this season. Michigan State here in a couple of weeks. DU, Omaha, Minnesota, Duluth. What a schedule. What a grind, Kyle Houston. Absolutely. I mean, Michigan State coming. You haven't played them in a while. And then you get into NCHC play, and there are no weekends off. NCHC, the last four national champions. And... This is a game that no doubt will get them prepared in a big way. The first four games of non-conference play. Copeland dropping it back. There's Berzola. Halloran skates in. Nick, of course, played 20 games last season, suffered an injury, and it's one thing to condition to the offseason. Getting back in a game shape, still going to take some time for the talented former All-American out of Draper, Utah. Yeah, and you know that he's feeling healthy coming into this season. He's got a chip on his shoulder knowing how good of a season he had his sophomore year. And then sometimes you just can't help injuries. But it's his last go-round in a Tigers uniform. He wants to improve upon last year's Tigers team who uh, did a great job. They won that first series against Western Michigan in the playoffs before falling to St. Cloud and DU. But Nick Halloran, as he goes, CC goes. Crookshank. And LaFontaine loses it on the glove, and Minnesota able to scoop it up. Here's Ranta, three on two, and CC back defensively here with just under 12 and a half to go in the second period of play. This is Scott Reedy, defended there by Patrick Kazi. Kazi, the freshman out of Greenlaw, New York, working hard against the boards for the Tigers. And a shot, quick shot taken by Ranta, sails wide. Thrown back in here by the Gophers. They'll go over to the near side to Scott Reedy. Now CC discipline here on this defensive shift. And the Tigers come out of that. Come right back in here by the Gophers. They'll go over to the near Crookshank. side to Scott Reedy. Slavin and now Kazi CC offensively here for the discipline. Tigers. And this is Myers for Minnesota. Wraps it around, deflected right back to a Gopher there at the blue line. Here we go. Opportunity at Slavin. Holds, dumps it off to Kazi. And pinned up in the corner is CC. Trying to get set up here on this offensive possession. Worked big time there 
by the Tigers and Troy Conzo, Jr. out of New York. And CC throwing one in, far post, right, right side, it sails wide. And Brazola was looking for the stick of Slavin coming through the, sh the slot, and he just missed him. It's Brady Smith working on the shift here right now for CC, and defensively, Jackson Lacombe has been so active here in the early going for Minnesota. You can see why he was a high pick of the second round by Anaheim and why he's getting all the, the, this playing time in the first period and a half of this game. And now we'll get an opportunity to see the Gophers power play as number 16, Eric Middendorf, is going off for the infraction. Well, Colorado College is another look there as play a stop at 10.51 to go, so the penalty. And in the box goes Middendorf. So Eric Middendorf, the sophomore out of Scottsdale, and the first man advantage tonight for Minnesota. And the Gophers still trying to fill out their power play unit. And it's going to be a work in progress over the next four games. Bob Motzko still trying to piece things together. Backside, no. And Ruck is there to make the play here for Colorado College. Now the Gophers skip past there. Walker, top of the slot. They rotate it over, thrown in near side, no. And dug out of there by Johnson. So Ryan Johnson, freshman out of California, throwing right up the middle to Walker. Now defensively on the ice, you've got Crookshank, Berzola, Slavin. And company going to work along with Sasaki. Ten minutes to go here on the first, just over a minute to go on a man advantage for Minnesota. Playing with a one nothing lead, Walker sends it low, and Slavin able to clear it out of there for the Tigers. What a job by Slavin on the back door. He saw McLaughlin going in, and so when you're that top forward, your guy is the, the back door guy. And he came back with his stick in the passing lane. Beautifully done. Walker and company throwing it down. Check that. That's Robbie Stucker, a sophomore, onto the ice for the first time here tonight. The extra skater inside a nine and a half to go. Minnesota working with a one nothing lead. This is Stucker. Holding, top of the slot, throw down, and deflected out of there by Pernitsky. Great block by the senior out of Saskatchewan. And cross lot pass, here's Stucker again. This is Zulsdorf now for the blue line. Holds, waits, Stucker. Throws it down low, goal line extended. Five to go here on the power play for Minnesota. And thrown in, deflected off the board behind the net. And the Tigers kill it off. Turn, quick shot, blocked again. And what a job by that penalty kill unit for Mike Hamilton's team. Absolutely. They were structured. They were disciplined. And it's great to see when the first penalty kill of the year goes as well as that one did. Well, keep in mind, this team was unbelievable. They were number one of the penalty kill, the final 14 games last season. That number one of the nation. Tom out of the ice, 8.28 to go. A good one here in Colorado Springs. Colorado College Tiger Hockey first took the ice in 1938. Olsen Plumbing and Heating had already been in the game for over 20 years. Since that time, many seasons have come and gone, but their commitment to excellence has remained the number one goal for both teams. Colorado College Tiger Hockey and Olsen Plumbing and Heating, two great teams who know their way around the pipes. Proud sponsors of Colorado College Tiger Hockey, Olsen Plumbing and Heating, celebrating over a century of service. Thanks to Pizza Hut's $7.99 large pizza deal, it's never been easier to bring everyone to the table. Get an oven-hot large pizza with three of your favorite toppings for just $7.99. That's right, $7.99, because no one out pizzas the hut. The new guacamole double cheeseburger from Carl's Jr. is only $299. It's $2.99. We forgot the decimal point. Only $2.99 for a burger with guacamole? The latest charbroiled double deal is only $2.99 at Carl's Jr. 
lots of great action coming up here at the Broadmoor Red Arena, Minnesota, tomorrow night. Michigan State for a pair of Western Michigan. No easy games night in and night out for the CC Tiger hockey team. Get out here to the Broadmoor World Arena in Colorado Springs. Support the Tigers. Oh, what a season it could be here, Mike Havilland. It is sixth year. Kyle, he has built a tremendous team. It's taken some, taken some time, but all the pieces are in place this season. Absolutely. It does take time when you're a new coach coming in and trying to rebuild the program, establish your identity and the identity of the Tigers team, and, and you lose some guys that help with that. You know, Mason Berg, Trey Bradley, Trevor Gooch, Wesson the shot. Those guys were instrumental in, in helping this team get to where it is right now. And, and I I think this team is just going to continue to trend, trend upward. Here's Howler now. A speedy senior out of Utah poked away from behind. And Berzola retreats here on the ice defensively with Pernitsky. So a bit of a change here. Berzola had been paired up with Mayer. And now whistle. And clock stops. 7. 57 to go. And a change. They go back to that speed line. And Slave and Crookshank and Pazzi. And on the back end, you've got Yoon and Sasaki. Grant Crookshank, parents both uh, Olympic speed skaters. Of course, his mom, the great Bonnie Blair. Talk about a line that can move as fast as any line in the country. And, and you know Grant was on skates probably before he could walk. It's just a matter of were they hockey skates or were they speed skates? There's Yoon, and that one is swept away. Slavin, the long skate back. Of course, his older brother Jacob played here at CC now with the Carolina Hurricanes. Tremendous bloodlines, and boy, you talk about going from one generation, one brother to another. Both these programs have benefited on both ends of that. Absolutely. You got Jacob, Slavin, and Josiah. You have Jaden and Ryland Schwartz. 7.07 to go. Well, what a game this has been. And you've got to tip your cap to the Tigers. It didn't look good early on. They gave up the goal, but they have settled in. They're starting to find their rhythm. Just gritty hockey. Both teams 0 for on the power play tonight. CC 0 for 2. Minnesota 0 for 1. They had their opportunities here minutes ago on their first man advantage. And Joey Marooney. The forward for Minnesota going off. Got uh, his stick up a little bit too high. And so we'll see what this top power play unit for the Tigers can do. Now the third opportunity here tonight. This is Brian Yoon. Uh, Parker throws it back. There's Copeland, Halloran. You've got Slavin on the ice for CC as well. Slavin out. The freshman skating in. Three maroon jerseys all around Slavin. And CC is going to have to go back to the neutral zone. And Yoon trying to throw it through mid ice. Slavin, here we go. Far side, Wilkie. And dashing up ahead is Copeland, the sophomore, pinned up along the boards. Slavin now able to dig it out. And relentless is Minnesota on this penalty kill effort as the go Pry it away. Short-handed, and Minnesota missed here on the near side. It's McLaughlin. That was an unbelievable feed. Just couldn't stick it out of midair. Yeah, that was a great two-on-one opportunity. There's Wilkie now slaving up ahead and taken away there by Reedy. Now, special teams for both teams have looked good here in game number one this season. Yeah, the penalty kill has been great for Minnesota. They've been aggressive. They've communicated well. And CC is going to have to make a little bit of an adjustment. Here's Crookshank now. The captain, Crookshank, along the board, far side. And a big hit there by Conger. Top of the slot for CC. Works Mayer. Slides over to the board, far side. Mayer now to the right side. Middendorf and off the glove of LaFontaine. 17 seconds to go on a power play thrown in. No by Mayer and Middendorf trying to poke it back in. They've had their opportunities here as another power play ticks away and the Tigers over on a man advantage. 
talk about some adjustments that CC was going to try to make on the power play. Well, I think they did towards the later part of that man advantage where they decided instead of making those passes across the seam, they were just going to go and fire. But let's take a look at this little two-on-one. I think it was deflected right before it got to McLaughlin, but still a good job to even get his stick on the puck and put it just a little bit wide, uh, but almost an opportunity to make the two to nothing Gophers. Now CC has outshot Minnesota 19 to 11, but it's the Gophers getting the goal from Tyler Nanny. That is the difference here with 5:04 to go. And it was a goal less than two minutes into the contest, and I think you're thinking for for a minute with how back and forth it was that it might end up ramping up to be a high-scoring affair, but both goaltenders have played outstanding with Ryan Ruck on the CC end and Jack LaFontaine on the Minnesota end. So they've been keeping both the, their teams in the game. Now for Colorado College, 10 newcomers this season for the roster, eight freshmen, two transfers, another look there, an opportunity. That's Middendorf trying to stuff it in. LaFontaine started his collegiate career at Michigan and uh, took a year off from the college ranks. Went to the BCHL, but he has looked good here. And on the other side, Ruck has settled in. Of course, the grad transfer hasn't seen a lot of action the last two years, but Boy, both these goalies have been impressive here tonight. I think they've both come in with something to prove where LaFontaine saying, I want to be this number one goalie for Minnesota. It's up for grabs right now. And Ruck is saying, I'm going to I'm gonna come in and prove myself, uh, and prove that I can play and still play at a high level here. Uh, he got stuck behind Caden Primo at Northeastern. CC able to skate away with the puck here quickly out of the Gophers in. That's Kazi. A uh, speedy freshman out of New York. He'll dig it along the far boards behind the net now. CC rotation over. Berzola throws it in. Blocked there by Minnesota. Now the Gophers in nice position defensively there as Kazi thrown back into Troy Conzo. And taken away by Lacombe, perhaps an ill abides pass. And here we go to the other end. Minnesota thrown in, quick shot, and turned away on the stick side by Ruck. Great save by Ruck to deny Ben Myers his first college goal. That's Kazi. And Minnesota quickly the other way. Both these teams still finding their legs, finding their game conditioning here. And especially for the Gophers at altitude, trying to take advantage here at CC. Halloran thrown in, no, still loose. And finally, LaFontaine able to cover it up, but a quick shot there taken by the senior Nick Halloran. one nothing. the Gophers out in front. There's nothing quite like coming together over a fresh cooked meal. Face to face, burger to burger, solving the world's problems over fries. There's also nothing like solving the problems right in front of you, like baseball practice, swim team, and getting your family's meals just like they like it, all with a few taps on your phone. Yeah, good thing there's more than one way to solve the world's problems. Good thing there's Whataburger. Metro has a plan for traffic, whether you ride or drive. The plan calls for 500 miles of travel improvements, including a new Metro Rapid service with buses that operate like rail cars, more light rail and commuter service, more service for the elderly and disabled, plus more money for road improvements. All of that with no new taxes. Election Day is November 5th. Learn more at metronext.org. Well, CC opening up in front of the home fans here tonight, the Bravo Road Arena in Colorado Springs. 3.52 to go here in the second period. As the Tigers trail it, one nothing face off here at the Minnesota end to start here out of this timeout. 3.52 to go. And the Gophers crack the puck. That's Ranta back down to the Colorado College Inn. We go back to the go friends, so adjustments 
The Tigers, they've been able to tighten it up here after giving up that first goal. Yeah, they really have. And uh, you, you know that in a game, you're going to have to weather some storms in the defensive zone. And both teams have done that. It's been uh, back and forth. But CC still has gotten their chances. And uh, they'll try to get back and tilt the ice a little bit more to the offensive end in the last three and a half minutes of this period. Here's Brinkman from Minnesota. And it has been choppy here in the latter stages of this second period. Well, yeah, we talked about it earlier. You can't replicate uh, the game speed and what happens during the game. So uh, where your passes may be crisp, tic-tac-toe in practice the first few weeks of the season, when you get to the game and there's another team that's not your own teammates going against you, it's a little bit different. You see some different styles and everything, but, I mean, Along with the game, you see some of the fans uh, excited about this CC team. McLaughlin and Crookshank facing off, and Minnesota now able to play it forward. This is Burke. McLaughlin over to Burke, and CC now. On the defensive end here as Minnesota skates around. Burke drops it back. Thrown in. No. And Colorado College sets in defensively once again. There's McLaughlin over the board near side here for Minnesota. He'll skate in, throw it over backhand, and a skate for Burke into the corner. Defensively there is Kazi behind the net now. Ruck defending the post near side, throw it across the slot and back down into the neutral zone here with 2.43 to go in this second period of play. Well, if you're the Anaheim Ducks, you've got to be very happy with the way that Jackson Lacombe has played and the way Blake McLaughlin has played up front. Both have had outstanding games, in my opinion. Now the Tigers now trying to even this one up at a goal apiece. Final minutes of this second period. Sasaki over to Bernardinelli. Alex now thrown in with the glove saved there by LaFontaine. And LaFontaine just does a good job of staying put, using his glove to his advantage. And CC, they've got to get a little bit more traffic to the front of the net, some more bodies to kind of disrupt his vision because he's seen things very well. And, and of course, you, you do see Goss, uh, or rather Conger, go in there to try to add to some of that traffic, but I expect to see more just pucks and bodies to the front. Conger on a face-off here for Colorado College. Tigers win it. 2.09 to play here in the second. CC throwing it back is Conger. There's Berardinelli throwing in and slides right through the face of the goal. Now the Tigers have had their chances. 23 to 13 shot on goal advantage for CC. Still though, trailing on the scoreboards, trying to keep knock, knock, knocking on the door here. Mike Havlin's team. They 23 shots on goal, and three times the uh, puck has gone off the iron. Great move there and poked away by LaFontaine. Minnesota now the other way. The Gophers here. Play with that one goal lead. Look out, trouble there for Ruck. He's able to sweep it out of harm's way. Sasaki there for CC along with Berzola. Quick skate over here for the Tigers as Conzo and company try to keep this a one goal deficit and perhaps tie it up here in the final 1 7 of the second period. It's you around the blue line. Take it away. Sasaki loses it. And here come the Gophers. Saki, defending thrown in, look out, still loose, and the Tigers able to scoop it up. That's Conzo quickly into the neutral zone now. Conzo inside the blue line from the slot and deflected out of there. Yoon able to come up with the puck for CC. Final 42 seconds here of the second, and more Minnesota on the tack. Now both these teams starting to find a little bit of rhythm here in the closing seconds of the second period. Yeah, you've seen more crisp plays in this last little bit and a good little back and forth sequence right there. But Minnesota has done a really good job of blocking shots. You saw in that last one with Conzo coming in the slot. They just get the, the bodies in front of those 
those pucks and not letting it get to LaFontaine. Walker and Crookshank face off, and there's the sophomore, Sammy Walker. Wrap it around, holds, and that one is just off the mark. Not sure if it hit iron, but a good look by the captain for the Gophers. I think that hit uh, glove side iron. And now CC, final 14 seconds. Minnesota hit in front of the Gophers bench with 9.8 showing on the clock. That was Burke there for the Gophers. And Brazola with an undisciplined play. The play for Minnesota didn't have the puck, had dumped it in, and he went and extended his arms uh, against that gopher player, and that's not what you want to see in the last 10 seconds. It'll give Minnesota a good opportunity in the offensive zone, and if they don't capitalize, they'll start the third with a man advantage. So just undisciplined from Zach Brazola. Well, CC trying to buckle down here the final 9.8. On this second period, Crookshank to face off, thrown in by Minnesota. Five seconds and counting here. Power play here for the Gophers, and out of position is Ruck. Look out, and the horn sounds, and that will do it. But the Gophers will have one. 51 of the man advantage to start the third period. We played two. Minnesota leading CC. One to nothing. We'll be back right after this. I wish we could afford to buy new furniture. What is this? It's your breakthrough from Cons Home Plus. Cons Low Payment Finder finds the lowest payment tailored to you. Good credit or building credit. Wow. At Saltgrass, we're all about great steaks, but there is a lot more to our story. Farm to table ingredients, freshly caught seafood, and our famous craft cocktails. Great certified Angus beef steaks, and a whole lot more. Come taste the greatness. Saltgrass Steakhouse. From the 5 a.m. wakers Sus. to the 6 a.m. sleepers, everyone uses their phone differently and in different places. That's why Xfinity Mobile created a wireless network that auto-connects you to millions of secure Wi-Fi hotspots and the best LTE everywhere else. Xfinity Mobile is a different kind of wireless network designed to save you money. Switch and save hundreds a year on your wireless bill. Plus, get $250 back when you buy an eligible phone. Call, click, or visit a store today. Your Houston Rockets are on AT&T Sportsnet with 70 live games, pre- and post-game coverage, and behind-the-scenes content you won't get anywhere else. AT&T Sportsnet is your home for the Houston Rockets. Hi, I'm Richard Petty. I may be champion on the racetrack, but what I'm most proud of is being a champion of veterans like Chris Hall. Chris was injured while serving in the Army. Because of the Paralyzed Veterans of America, I was able to get the health care and benefits I need. And now I live an active life. I currently play wheelchair rugby for the only all-veteran team in the country and mentor other veterans with disabilities when I can. More than 44,000 veterans live with spinal cord injuries and disease. Paralyzed Veterans of America help these veterans secure health care, benefits, and jobs. The programs and services at the Paralyzed Veterans of America, like Adaptive Sports, have changed my life. After my injury, I never thought I'd play sports, travel the world, or have so many people supporting me. Paralyzed Veterans of America has given me a support system for life. To learn how you can join me and be a champion for veterans like Chris, visit pva.org slash champions. Texas Southern takes on Missouri s and tomorrow at 2 on at and Sportsnet. to Broadmoor Wood Arena on a Friday night and what a way to open up the 2019-20 season for both these teams. Two former WCHA rivals of course now the Tigers at NCHC and the Gophers of the Big Ten but boy back to that old school magic and this has been some kind of a contest. Of course the scoring opens up Minnesota scores less than two minutes in but after that opening goal 
Kyle Houston, both these teams have really settled in, especially on the defensive end. Yeah, and you look at the block shots from each uh, team on that, that bottom row of stats. Nine for CC, seven for Minnesota. So they're doing a good job of, of not letting those pucks get to the goaltenders, but CC's had some excellent opportunities uh, against Jack LaFontaine. And Minnesota, they started to get more grade-A scoring chances against Ryan Ruck, too. So we'll be interested to see what happens in the third period. Yeah, Ryan Ruck standing tall and goal after giving up that first goal. And both these teams offer on a man advantage. Now the Gophers will start the third period with uh, almost two minutes of a power play. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. But what a game here. 40 down, Twitter to go. Back with highlights. Colorado Springs right after this. Bring all your scrap metal to C&D Scrap, and I'm going to pay in $2 bills. And I'm going to give you two Sunday tickets to the 45th anniversary of the Texas Renaissance Festival. Pardon me, I've been photobombed on television? Oh, scrap. Huzzah. This is Jerry. Jerry has a membership to this gym, but he's not using it. And he has subscriptions to a music service he doesn't listen to and five streaming video services he doesn't watch. This is Jerry learning that he's still paying for this stuff he's not using. He's seeing his recurring payments in Control Tower in the Wells Fargo mobile app. This is Jerry canceling a few things. Booyah. This is Jerry appreciating the people who made this possible. Oh, look, there they are. This is Wells Fargo. He's not going to make this. What is he doing? There's no way. Look at him. Look at his legs. He's not going to move that thing. There's no way. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, he's actually. Oh, he's actually gonna. Oh, oh he's gonna try this. Oh. Come on, buddy. You got it. A oh. little bit more. Come on. Yeah. Go. Get those Come on. Push. Push. Right here, Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Your life doesn't revolve around energy efficiency, but by recycling your old fridge or freezer, you can get a fifty dollars rebate. Save money and improve our community. Visit csu.org. From the couldn't be prouders to the wait, did we just winners? Everyone uses their phone differently. That's why Xfinity Mobile lets you design your own data. Now you can share it between lines, mix with unlimited, and switch it up at any time. So you only pay for what you need. It's a different kind of wireless network designed to save you money. Switch and save hundreds a year on your wireless bill. Plus, get $250 back when you buy an eligible phone. Call, click, or visit a store today. Happy 40th anniversary, Dennis. Bring all your scrap metal to C&D. And I'm going to pay in $2 bills. And I'll give you two Sunday tickets to... The 45th Texas Renaissance Festival. Huzzah! Is it still good to be the king? It tastes good. Now, there has been no debate. The NCHC, the Tigers, the conference they call home. Now in the seventh season, the dominant conference here in the country, the last four national champions. Right now, the Tigers, their sights set on the team out of the Big Ten, the Minnesota Golden Gophers, one or nothing leading CC here going into the third period. John Kyle, Kyle Houston, and uh, Kyle shot opportunity. CC with a 23-16 advantage. They held the advantage again in the second out shooting. We go for 16-10. The chances are there. If you're Mike Havlin, how do you find the back of the net here in the third period? Well, I think that you just got to get more pucks and bodies to the front of the net and get some uh, traffic in front of the eyes of Jack LaFontaine because he's seen the puck too easily right now. In the first period, you, you had those three shots off of the iron. Wilkie with the two off the crossbar, Halloran with one off the post. But now you know that you just have to kind of grind it out to get that tying goal. Now, this is the first time these two teams have played since 2013 and of course this opens up a real grind to open up the season for CC of course the Gophers again here tomorrow night a week off for Colorado College they got Michigan State on the 25th another game right here on AT&T Sportsnet have the Spartans again that Saturday night and then Western Michigan a team that was the three seed in the NCHC first round CC beat them as a six seed last year so that'll be an interesting one to open up NCAA CHC play, but really a tough, tough schedule at home to open up this season. Well, lots more coming up. We're going to take a break back here to the Bob Moore World Arena right after this. You Bring all your scrap metal to C&D Scrap, and I'm going to pay in $2 bills. 
And I'm going to give you two Sunday tickets to the 45th anniversary of the Texas Renaissance Festival. Pardon me, I've been photobombed on television? Oh, scrap! Huzzah! Metro has a plan for traffic, whether you ride or drive. The plan calls for 500 miles of travel improvements, including a new Metro Rapid service with buses that operate like rail cars, more light rail, and commuter service, more service for the elderly and disabled, plus more money for road improvements. All of that with no new taxes. Election Day is November 5th. Learn more at metronext.org. Happy 40th anniversary, Dennis. Bring all your scrap metal to C&D. And I'm going to pay in $2 bills. And I'll give you two Sunday tickets to the 45th Texas Renaissance Festival. Huzzah! Is it still good to be the king? It tastes good. Springs, we are in the second intermission as the visiting Gophers of the University of Minnesota leading Colorado College by a score of one to nothing. Josh Howe, Kyle Houston, and Kyle, when we look at the highlights after that second period of play, both teams with the chances, and let's go to the video on this one. And Jack LaFontaine, we knew he had a lot of experience coming in, and boy, it showed here in the second period. Well, absolutely. He made some unbelievable saves, uh, and the saves that he needed to make, too. This was probably my favorite save so far of the night. Halloran on a breakaway. He gets the five hole of LaFontaine. LaFontaine opened up and tried to slide it back in, and LaFontaine was able to get a stick on it. He just made the saves that he needed to, and, and then his defense is able to clear it out in front of him. So he's done a great job in his first college action in a while. LaFontaine, 10 saves in the second period, saved all 23 shots on goal. Meanwhile, Ryan Ruck, impressive as well. Yeah, he's been impressive ever since that goal from Tyler Nanny. He's uh, been very good uh, with his technical game. He's been in the right spot and then it, you know he just lets his technique take over that was a great save against Myers right in the slot so both goaltenders are giving their team an opportunity to win this game uh, everything you would want in a season opener two rivals separated by a goal and a one goal margin going into the final 20 minutes of play here in regulation in Colorado Springs CC and University of Minnesota we've got the third period when we come back Thanks to Pizza Hut's $7.99 large pizza deal, it's never been easier to bring everyone to the table. Get an oven-hot large pizza with three of your favorite toppings for just $7.99. That's right, $7.99, because no one out pizzas the hut. This is Jerry. Jerry has a membership to this gym, but he's not using it. And he has subscriptions to a music service he doesn't listen to and five streaming video services he doesn't watch. This is Jerry learning that he's still paying for this stuff he's not using. He's seeing his recurring payments in Control Tower in the Wells Fargo mobile app. This is Jerry canceling a few things. Booyah. This is Jerry appreciating the people who made this possible. Oh, look, there they are. This is Wells Fargo. The new guacamole double cheeseburger from Carl's Jr. is only $299. It's $2.99. We forgot the decimal point. Only $2.99 for a burger with guacamole? The latest Charbroil double deal is only $2.99 at Carl's Jr. 
When Colorado College Tiger Hockey first took the ice in 1938, Olson Plumbing and Heating had already been in the game for over 20 years. Since that time, many seasons have come and gone, but their commitment to excellence has remained the number one goal for both teams. Colorado College Tiger Hockey and Olson Plumbing and Heating, two great teams who know their way around the pipes. Proud sponsors of Colorado College Tiger Hockey, Olson Plumbing and Heating, celebrating over a century of service. Your Houston Rockets are on AT&T Sportsnet. The slams and jams. I think he was up so high. You got a bloody nose. <laughs> the back doors and the blocks. Blocked by Capella. And the best of the beer. Are you kidding me? We are there with 70 live games, pre- and post-game coverage, and behind-the-scenes content you won't get anywhere else. He said block this. AT&T Sportsnet is your home for the Houston Rockets. Texas Southern takes on Missouri s and tomorrow at 2 on AT&T Sportsnet. Tonight's Colorado College Tiger hockey game on AT&T Sportsnet is brought to you by Wells Fargo, proud sponsor of CC Tiger Hockey and home of the Wells Fargo Tigers debit card. Olson Plumbing and Heating, building our reputation for over 100 years. Call or visit online at olsonph.com and buy Pizza Hut. For a limited time, get a two-topping large pizza for just $7.99. Order online at pizzahut.com. Remember, no one out pizzas the hut. Here we go. Ready to roll for the third period at the Broadmoor World Arena. The Minnesota Golden Gophers with a 1-0 lead. They will start Kyle Houston this third period with a man advantage. 1-51 showing on the clock. It is go time right now for CC trying to set the tone and get back to even up this game at a goal apiece. I like CC's first uh, couple of penalty kills. They did a good job, but Minnesota has Having that break in the locker room, they really get a chance to go over what went well, what didn't go well on their power play opportunities, and so they're going to have a little bit of an advantage coming out of this break, knowing exactly what they want to do. Well, this penalty kill has been special. Number one of the nation in the last 14 games this season. Of course, some pieces moved around, but for the most part, this is an outstanding penalty kill unit. They will need to be at their best here to start this third period of play. Both these sides offer on a man advantage tonight. Here we go. Ready to start this third period. Grant Cruikshank, the captain, will face it off center ice here for the Tigers. And on the other side, it's Sammy Walker. And we are underway in period number three. And Minnesota on the power play tonight. They've been 0 for the Golden Gophers 0 for 2. And a long skate down by Alex Berardinelli. LaFontaine has been special in goal. Sweeps it up. Minnesota now working it up here through the neutral zone. That's Ryan Johnson. A freshman defenseman and Johnson now back at his own end. 1.15 to go and a go for man advantage. Big sheet here for both these teams adjusting in the opening game of the season. Johnson thrown over the left side now. Minnesota moves in. Goal line extended. The Gophers holding. CC packs it in, and Rock sweeps it away here. The first chance on his power play to start the third period for Minnesota. Really good opportunity for McManus. A better save from Ruck. Clogged up in the corner near side. CC trying to come out of there with the puck. Here's Johnson. Drops it back to McLaughlin. He is an electric player. Up top, Johnson. McLaughlin one times across the crease. And CC able to survive for now. 30 seconds to go. Tigers trying to kill off this gopher power play. You did a good job of getting the stick of McManus. Johnson thought about the one time. Throws it in. A change of pace there. Now Ryan again, right back in, and saved me by Ryan Ruck with 14 on this power play here for Minnesota. Well, in the second period, the Tigers did a really good job on the PK, having sticks in lanes and preventing opportunities, and now they have done a really good job again. You see on that rebound, Yoon gets the stick of McManus. It allows it to go through, and no opportunity in front of the net. Ready on the faceoff here for the Gophers. Goss 
for Colorado College, Minnesota now. Final seven seconds of this man advantage. That's McManus skating over here for Minnesota. Two seconds, one second, and the Tigers kill off the Minnesota power play. Really great job on the penalty kill once again for the Tigers. A long skate over for Goss. Little bump of the board, far side. Over to help out here for the Gophers is McManus. Boards near side, doubled up there by CC. Here's Ranta. Sample skating in behind the net. Throws it out, circle near side, and quickly the stick on it. It's Versich. And Baradinelli in transition. Colorado College, it's Goss along the boards. Behind the go for net. Try to get through to Goss. Berzola has it poked away. And now Minnesota look at a counter line change here for the Gophers. Picked up off the stick of Brady Smith, the defenseman there to Brzova skiing to the back end for Colorado College. Tigers transitioning quickly. Howler in his speed. Puck gets by the stick of the senior out of Utah. And quickly, Minnesota two on one. The Gophers an open look. They can't put it away. That was Ben Myers with a golden opportunity. And now Ruck secures 17-0-3 to go here in the third. Well, Myers has had himself an outstanding college debut. He had that shot in the slot earlier, and this time a great little pass uh, between the triangle of the stick, pass across, and just a little bit wide of Ruck. There was an open net there for Perbix, but uh, another good opportunity for the Gophers. Ryan Ruck, he has been impressive. Minnesota has had their chances. But outshot 23 to 19. And face off one here, Halloran. And the speedy Nick Halloran up ahead. Here we go. Nick skating in and loses the puck. What defense on the part of Ryan Johnson, the freshman, has been sensational tonight in his debut. Throw it across far side. CC throwing it in again and again. A stick on it by the Gophers. This time it's Johnny Sorensen. Johnny Sorensen, the freshman out of St. Louis Park, Minnesota. A lot of these freshmen for the Gophers have had great college debuts. Here's Joey Maroney. And the skate down here from Mayer. And behind that, it's Pernitsky. So Mayer Pernitsky. And here they go. That's Kazi, number 10, on the near side, skating up across mid-ice. And LaFontaine went out of goal to get that one. Kazi, the speed has been on display here in his debut. As we have played nearly four minutes of the third period, speaking of speed, racing down to the other end is Sammy Walker. And now it's really started to open up the flow, the rhythm. Both these teams a little more in sync, and a big hit by Crookshank. And there's Kazi, puck gets by him. McLaughlin now turns, loses a puck. In position is Sasaki to Brian Yoon. Kazi bumped along the board, far side in Minnesota now. Some room to work with the puck, and they'll give it to their captain, Sammy Walker. Broadenelli challenges. Walker skates into the neutral zone. And look at four Tiger jerseys around Sammy Walker. Nothing easy for the captain here tonight. Picked up and quickly moving into the Minnesota end is Troy Conzo. And a whistle as the clock stops with 15-12 to go here in the third. I think what you're starting to see from this, the, both of these teams is you have the two periods under your belt. Guys have shaken off the rust, and now there's some more skilled plays, some more tape-to-tape passes, and really good opportunities from each side. I think that's just going to continue to grow throughout the remainder of this 15 minutes, the remainder of the weekend, and you'll start to see them build on it over the next few weeks. There's Baradonelli near side, and that's going to get by. Mayer on the back end, and Berzola will cover here for Colorado College. Look out, Minnesota behind the net, but CC position well down the slot. They'll throw it in. Ruck, puck still sitting in the crease. Minnesota throws it back in on net, and skating back is Ranta. Sample Ranta to the blue line. Minnesota working quickly here in rhythm on this possession. McManus working along the far board and bumped away there by Middendorf. Check that. That's Mayer for Colorado College. Berzola throws it up ahead. Now a good look for CC, but Tigers tightening down defensively inside of 14 and a half to go to mid-ice. And that just gets by 
the stick of CC there at center ice. So here we go. Minnesota, an opportunity. And a burst flying up the ice has been Myers. Myers skates in, and you know, you pull back, and what a takeaway there defensively by Brady Smith. And a long skate over from Wilkie. Wilkie willing himself to that puck. The fans coming alive here inside of 14 to go at the Broadmoor World Arena in a one-goal game. Throw it up, down the slot. Ruck makes the play for Colorado College. Here's Halloran at mid-ice. Another great save from Ruck. And I think the fans came alive uh, a little bit ago because they felt that Wilkie got tripped in the corner, but there was no call, so it uh, goes on. And Colorado College here continues to dig in defensively, poked out there by Sasaki. And Minnesota's... Stodiker able to throw it in on the boards behind the CC net. Kazi skating over. That's Stodiker behind the net to Marooney. And Colorado College, an opportunity here now. Kazi flies in along the boards near side and poked away again defensively. That's Tyler Nanny. Mid-ice, Nanny takes it away. Nanny, and whistled there with 12.47 to go and a timeout on the ice. What a finish here in Colorado Springs. The season opener, Minnesota leading the Tigers of Colorado College. What a way to start the season back with more right after this. This is Jerry. Jerry has a membership to this gym, but he's not using it. And he has subscriptions to a music service he doesn't listen to and five streaming video services he doesn't watch. This is Jerry learning that he's still paying for this stuff he's not using. He's seeing his recurring payments in Control Tower in the Wells Fargo mobile app. This is Jerry canceling a few things. Booyah. This is Jerry appreciating the people who made this possible. Oh, look, there they are. This is Wells Fargo. When Colorado College Tiger Hockey first took the ice in 1938, Olsen Plumbing and Heating had already been in the game for over 20 years. Since that time, many seasons have come and gone, but their commitment to excellence has remained the number one goal for both teams. Colorado College Tiger Hockey and Olsen Plumbing and Heating, two great teams who know their way around the pipes. Proud sponsors of Colorado College Tiger Hockey, Olsen Plumbing and Heating, celebrating over a century of service. Making his presence failed in this debut. What a play there to keep this a one-goal deficit for CC. Yeah, absolutely. Ruck, the uh, grad from Northeastern, he just had an outstanding game. So inside of 13 to go in a one-goal game, CC try to keep it that way here on the defensive end. The Gophers skate in, throw it on, Ruck denied again, and here comes Halloran. Quick turn now. Nick, the speed of the open ice, 2-1-1. One, one. Halloran, cross ice pass, and Copeland cannot connect. And now the Gophers the other way, looking to answer. Here's Sammy Walker, skates, holds, throws it in, and that one misses the mark. Both these teams, a couple of bang-bang plays here out of this timeout. And Copeland just missed that shot. What a pass from Nick Halloran. We really see what he can do. This is shades of what he was doing his sophomore season. And you knew that he was going to come out firing today. But a great two-on-one opportunity. And sometimes with that line with Halloran and Wilkie, we forget how well Copeland can shoot the puck. He can really fire it. There's Brizola behind the board. And CC able to play it out. That's Cristiano Versic. Gets by the stick of Connor Mayer. Slavin now. Versic beyond his stick. CC able to keep it alive. This is Crookshank. Crookshank now. Cristiano Versic top of the slot. And partially deflected, turning, and with the pad, that's LaFontaine turning that puck away inside of 12 to play. Inside the blue line, Berzola holds and blocked a What an effort by Sampo Ranta to knock down the pass. Along the far board now, that's Slavin working for CC. Ricochets off the board near side. Skate over for Connor Mayer. Both these teams really settling in here with under 11 and a half to go in this third period. A one goal game right down the slot. Denied by LaFontaine and it hits the iron. Wow, what 
a sequence. I, I mean, CC, they're playing with an extra man as Lacombe for Minnesota is going to go off for a penalty. So they had an opportunity six on five. They go in a couple of fantastic saves from LaFontaine and then one hits the iron. And we'll take a, a look at it. What a pass inside. A, a good play. And then uh, it goes off the right iron. It was Wilkie. Again, the third time today that he's gone off the iron. Well, this Tiger team finding their rhythm. It's come late, but here we go. In a one-goal game, 11 Twitter to go as they reset the cage. What a matchup here to start the season. These two teams meeting for the 255th time in a one-goal game. And on the faceoff, it's Josiah Slavin. And Gophers back out, and they'll slide to McLaughlin. Tigers win it here. You got Ewan up top, skip pass, Wilkie fires, and he just misses, and swept out of there by Ben Brinkman. Right now, keep feeding Wilkie. He's got a hot hand. One of these is bound to go in. The green light for the redshirt senior out of Omaha, Nebraska. Chris Wilkie, skip pass again. There's Halloran through the slot. Copeland, Wilkie, and that is a goal for CC. We're tied at one. Well, what did we just say? Keep feeding it to Wilkie. One of these is bound to go in, and he gets an opportunity right in the slot. Does not go off the iron on this one. Finds the back of the net, and what energy it brings to his team, to this crowd. He has been knocking on the door this entire game. Goes short side and rings it just inside. Yeah, go ahead and celebrate, Wilkie. And this place alive here, tied at one inside 11 to play. What a way to open up the 2019-20 season. Wilkie gets his first goal of the season. And what an answer here by the Colorado College Tigers as they have just eaten up against the Gophers here. And boy, what a final 10 and a half this thing is setting up to be. Absolutely. I mean, like we said, guys are making more tape-to-tape -tape passes. There's uh, less choppy play that you can expect to see in the first game. But, uh, man, it has been fun tonight. So behind the net, this is Connor Mayer. Berzola now. We're checking out Barard and Ellie. Up ahead, CC settles in with Conzo. Minnesota back defensively. Here's a change. Out on the ice is Speedy Line and Slavin, Crookshank, and Kazi. Defensively is Yoon and Sasaki here for Colorado College. Taken away here by the Gophers at mid-ice. That's Johnny Sorensen. Played over far side to Yoon. Up the boards, gets by the stick of Slavin. And the clock stopped with 9.41 to go. We had the sense, Kyle, that this team was knocking on the door. You called it. Chris Wilkie, shot after shot, and persistence pays off is he finds the back of the net, we've got a new game. Absolutely, and you know that Wilkie is one of those guys that, he, like you said, he's got the green light wherever he is on the ice. We've seen it every time he's been in a CC Tigers jersey, and it was just a matter of time before it found the right side of the net. There's Yoon and Sasaki challenging in the corner. Minnesota trying to dig it out. And the Gophers able to... Hold out of the puck here as Sorensen spins behind, pinned along the boards. And there's Waite, number 17, and they're going to go to the blue line. Poked away, and CC throws it back to the Minnesota end here with just over nine to play in this third period. Uh, dead even on shots on goal, 26 apiece. What a night. And both goaltenders have played fantastic. Uh, like you know, we talked about in between the second and the third, they're giving their teams a chance to win. Thrown in, ricocheted off the board, and you and able to pick it up here for CC. And that's Stodiker for Minnesota, and poked in, top of the crease. They bang one home. That's Scott Reedy, the junior out of Prior Lake, and it's now 2-1 Minnesota. 
Will Reedy with that big body, 6'2", 205. He just parked himself in front of the net. And a great pass to the back door to a wide open net. We see the shot, Ruck with the initial save, and what a pass from McManus. Yoon just loses Reedy for a half second. That's all it took for him to put the go-ahead goal in. So, two of the three goals tonight combined, scored here in the third, and still a lot of time to go. Tigers looking to punch back. Wilkie again! We're party two! That for a green light. Absolutely. What a pass, first of all. But then Wilkie, if he would have held on to that puck for a half second longer, LaFontaine would have gotten over. But he was in a ready position to shoot. That's what good goal scorers do. They're ready wherever they are on the ice. This is a one of the longest passes across the ice in the offensive zone that you're going to see this year. And then he fired it from the top of the circle. What a way to answer. A heavyweight fight to open up the season. These two longtime rivals have been playing hockey since 1947. And a battle here in the season opener. They're going to take a look at this. They're going to review and where the linesman over there leads me to believe that maybe they're looking at offsides. And a good look there at our officials view in the booth here. Now if the goal stands it's a 2-2 tie, 8.47 to go here in the third period. And this is one of those that's so tough because the, the puck has to be completely across the blue line to get into the offensive zone. And if a guy maybe has a skate up in the air, it, you, you just never know. We'll get, a, we'll get a good look here. It's passed up. And you, you really, you, you can't tell. Boy, that is close. It, it looks to me like the skate's on the blue line and the puck crosses completely in. At least maybe you got that toe there. Did Halloran. But again, it has to be conclusive. Yeah, because the call on the ice was a goal. So you, you have to be able to definitively say that it was offside. And boy, I, I, I don't I don't know. It was so close, so tough to tell. Now Bordinelli's gonna go over there. We'll have a conversation probably one way or the other. Well, but it, it would be huge if this goal stood. Uh, we're going to get the official ruling here. It is a goal. We're tied at two. Now, this place has come alive here. Uh, fans, what a matchup. They have been treated to here tonight. Two heavyweights in college hockey. Punch, counter, punch. Two apiece, 8.47 to go. And that line still on the ice right now. Kyle, you've got Copeland, Howler, and Wilkie. They have been sensational here in the third. Yeah, they have. And you, you get yourself a little break with that review. It was a makeshift timeout for each team. So Mike Havlin able to put them right back out there. Well, Reedy scored. In 10 seconds later, Wilkie answers to even it up. Yeah, that's exactly what you want to do, and it's a sign of leadership for that line and for your group when you are able to do that. Tom out, back to the Springs after this. And Hi, I'm Tillman Fertitta, and in my book, Shut Up and Listen, 
I'm giving entrepreneurs and small business owners straightforward strategies that will help take your business to the next level. Now shut up and listen to make your business all that it can possibly be. New book available now where books are sold. The new guacamole double cheeseburger from Carl's Jr. is only $299. It's $2.99. We forgot the decimal point. Only $2.99 for a burger with guacamole? The latest Charbroil double deal is only $2.99 at Carl's Jr. Thanks to Pizza Hut's $7.99 large pizza deal, it's never been easier to bring everyone to the table. Get an oven-hot large pizza with three of your favorite toppings for just $7.99. That's right, $7.99. Because no one out pizzas the hut. 8.34 to go here. Third and final period in regulation. Tied it to CC Minnesota in the season opener. And Copeland on the faceoff here for the Tigers. They win it Wilkie. Two goals already here in this period. Over to Halloran. Throws it into Wilkie. Doubled up. Halloran now along the boards. Far side. Chris back to Halloran. A little one-two here. Trying to skate out of trouble. Nick near side. Goal line extended. Skates back. He's got help from behind. It's Mayer. Mayer wraps around. Pressured in front of him. Wilkie now. Skating free. He's got a man. That's Berzola inside the blue line. Off the boards it goes to Halloran. To the left side is Copeland approaching the eight minute mark here in the third period. Wilkie by his stick. They'll change lines and the Gophers now an opportunity. A yeah, really good shift from that veteran line. Halloran and Wilkie, Copeland, Brazil is out there. They did a good job of getting it back into the Gopher end. This is Berard Ellie right down the slot and that is out of play. So you got Berard Ellie, Goss and Versich. Working here with 7.39 to go in regulation. And this building waking up. Yeah, thanks in part to the stick of Chris Wilkie. He's hit three posts and scored two goals today. Goss on a face-off against Reedy. Reedy scored the go-ahead with 8.57 to go, but it didn't last long. And as Wilkie would answer, we go back down to the other end. Yeah, and isn't it funny how hot he works? You score two minutes into the game. There's no goals for the next uh, two kind of full frames. And then you get three back to back to back. Here's Goss. Reedy. And Gophers win it. Lacombe throws it up to mid-ice. Defensively, here's Pernitsky. Back out of the gopher end. LaFontaine comes out to play it. Jack has been good tonight. Both these keepers, Ruck and Jack, have been outstanding. Approaching the seven-minute mark here in the third period. Skating up and taken away there is Goss. And Minnesota able to get back Zulsdorf. And that's off the stick of Reedy. And hitting the ice, we play on turning, and ricocheted out of play. Shot taken, quick shot there by Conzo. And a tripping call is going to go against Scott Reedy, who is the second goal scorer for Minnesota. He got the skates of Slavin. And the Tigers will go back to their number one power play unit. Slavin's going to try to win this back right to Wilkie to get it set up. And you know the Gophers have Wilkie circle right now. But there's so many other players on this power play that are dangerous too. Slavin McLaughlin and CC wins it. And cross ice pass. It'll get through to Wilkie. And now taken away here by McLaughlin. He'll skate up. McLaughlin moving in. Holds, holds, throws it across the slot. Shot and saved there by Ryan Ruck. And what you want to do if you're CC, yes, Chris Wilkie has the two goals, but don't force anything. You can really spread the ice, especially with the, the, the wide ice that you have here. Work it to you. Work it on the right side with Halloran. And then that puck movement will open up those lanes, and that's what you saw earlier when Wilkie got his first goal. Bailey Conger on the faceoff. And CC wins it here. 140. 
on a man advantage for Colorado College. Just under six and a half to go in regulation. That's Mayer. Pressured there by Brinkman on the penalty kill unit here for Minnesota. Throw it over to Ben Myers. And all the way down to the Tiger end. The Ruck plays it. Here's Crookshank, the speedy sophomore out of Wisconsin. Bailey Conger is there also on the ice. Cristiano Versich. And circling back is Mayer. Throwing up ahead and misses his stick of Alex Berardinelli. And now you don't get an opportunity for a change. This power play has not been as crisp for the Tigers. So back down to the CCN. And these two teams, what well, effort here. Playing it all on the line tonight. The season opener. They know how important this is to try to set the tone on water. The Tigers are hoping a big, big season here. And Mike Haviland, sixth year at the helm in Colorado Springs. And you said it, just not crisp at all on this power play opportunity. And I have less than a, a minute left. Uh, right now, what you want to do is just try to win the faceoff clean. I wouldn't be surprised if Walker and McLaughlin, they go back in on the pressure if CC is able to win this faceoff. Try to force another one of those kind of errant passes that go th the length of the ice. CC able to poke it away. Mayer goes down. There's Conger able to pick it off along the board's near side. Tigers hold. Mayer throws it over. Quickly, they'll move it in. It's Cristiano Versich. Drops it back for Wilkie. And now 35 seconds remaining in this power play. Quickly, Halloran skates on the ice. To the left is Copeland. Halloran now using that speed down the right side. Nick skates in. Holding, holding, waiting. And Nick's going to circle behind the net. And to the blue line, gets off the stick of you. And he had an open look. And now 17 seconds to go on a CC power play here with five minutes to go in regulation. Tigers, one last push of the man advantage. Right down the slot, taken away there and poked away. Good defense by Tyler Nanny of Minnesota. And the Gophers defending. And it is a goal! Gets it done. What an answer here for the Tigers. They've scored two straight. What a pass, too, from Chris Wilkie. He had a, go a Gophers defender fall down, so Wilkie was able to walk in uncontested from the top of the circle. A defenseman for Minnesota slid across. There was that player that fell down. And then Copeland is just wide open on the back door. What a feed. And then Copeland gets it done. This team has been so persistent in the third period. Wilkie has brought, brought a ton of energy. Copeland, the finish. And the Tigers now trying to close it out. The final 434 of regulation. But a lot of work to do against this Minnesota team. Time out of the ice. Tigers with the lead. With the old Bring all your scrap metal to C&D Scrap. And I'm going to pay in $2 bills. And I'm going to give you two Sunday tickets to the 45th anniversary of the Texas Renaissance Festival. Pardon me, I've been photobombed on television? Oh, scrap! Huzzah! It's been reported that there's a cyber attack on business every 39 seconds. Ouch. I don't even want to think about it. Comcast Business has a solution. We go beyond fast with a cloud-based security system that automatically updates so you always have the latest protection. Phishing, malware, Risky sites, it can help lock all of that. Get fast internet and add Comcast Business Security Edge for just $29.95 a month. It's one less thing for us to worry about. Comcast Business, beyond fast. Happy 40th anniversary, Dennis. Bring all your scrap metal to C&D. And I'm going to pay in $2 bills. And I'll give you two Sunday tickets to the 45th Texas Renaissance Festival. Huzzah! Is it still good to be the king? It tastes good. <laughs> A selfless play out of the CC Tigers has them on top 3-2. And how about this third goal, Kyle Hewson? 
Well, what an unselfish play from Chris Wilkie. He's got the hot hand. He's got two goals. Has an opportunity for a hat trick. Instead, he finds the wide open man, Ben Copeland, on the back door. All Copeland had to do was have a strong bottom hand, let that puck hit his blade, and the Tigers have the lead. Copeland last season as a freshman, eighth in the NCHC in points, and picking up where he left off. Big time goal. The go ahead here under four thirty to go. That was an even strength goal as time expired. And CC now trying to lock it down and get out of here with a victory. But boy, a lot of work to be done. Minnesota has had their opportunities. These two teams dead even 29 shots on goal apiece. Yeah, and now if you're CC, you're not making any cute plays. Anytime you get it past the red line, you don't have an opportunity to break it in cleanly. Just dump it down uh, to get it behind the, the defenseman into the, the, the corner just to make Minnesota go 200 feet. Mayor throws it ahead to Crookshank. Grant skating behind the net there. Bumped and challenged by Ryan Johnson. And that's Kazi, a speedy freshman out of New York. And Minnesota here with 3.30 to go in regulation. Down a goal. Gophers in their own end. Circle back. That's Sammy Walker in the neutral zone now. Minnesota able to skate it up here against Colorado College. On the near side, this is Blake McLaughlin taking away. here by the Tigers. CC on the move. This is Copeland. Just scored the go-ahead. Throws it in. Glove there by Jack LaFontaine. And I think that's a really good play from Copeland. He could have easily tried to go with his backhand to try to get it to Wilkie, but when you're in that gray area, five feet inside the blue line or outside the blue line, you don't want to mess around there. He did a good job of just dumping it towards LaFontaine. Giving the Tigers an opportunity with an offensive zone drive. the face off from Minnesota and Copeland for the Tigers Walker. 
the go for Able to win the face off quickly. Along the backboard, Ryan Johnson throws it up. McLaughlin. And not a lot of stick on that puck. Minnesota digs it out. Here's McLaughlin at mid ice. He'll skate in, skating between the Tiger defenders. Swept away here by CC. 119 to go. And that's Wilkie battling. Tremendous effort at mid-size. These guys, these teams going back and forth here is Nathan Burke down to the other end here. And CC, they've tried to dig in defensively down the slot. That is off the mark. One minute to go. LaFontaine out of goal. Here we go. Wilkie skating in, empty net. Wilkie misses wide. It's one of the few shots for Wilkie that's been off the mark today, and it comes with no goaltender in the net. Here's Bersola. The Tigers now 40 seconds and counting. Wilkie and company. Sasaki. Bang there by McLaughlin. Inside of 30 seconds to go. Last chance here for Ben Myers and company. Off the air board. 20 seconds remaining. CC pressing. Here's Walker, the captain, throws it over, off the board, and CC in position. Final 10 seconds. Tigers trying to lock it down. McLaughlin, five boards, five seconds, four seconds, three. The fans count it down, and that will do it. The Tigers come from behind fashion tonight. Three goals in the third to win it by one. Huge reason to celebrate for the Tigers. Ryan Ruck with a big fist pump. His first win as a CC Tiger. His 45th win in his career. Really held down the fort uh, in the crease. Chris Wilkie, what more can you say about him? The two goals and then the, the assist on that game-winning goal for Ben Copeland. The Tigers were a resilient team tonight, but what a great college hockey game to start out the season. Well, this season just getting started, and if this is a preview of things to come, we are in for quite a ride in the 2019-20 season. The Tigers come from behind. They win it tonight by a final score of 3-2. to two. And as you see, Nick Halloran, a big night. Three assists, Chris Wilkie. The unselfish play really on display out of the red shirt senior Wilkie. As you mentioned, could have took that shot on the third goal instead. Off to Copeland. Wilkie gets the assist. Copeland ends up with the game winner. And one happy Josiah Slavin there, the freshman outstanding here in his debut as well. Yeah, I thought Slavin played well. Crookshank and Kazi as well. Uh, but let's take a look at the goals for CC. And it started with Chris Wilkie. We said right before that, keep on shooting, and you'll get it. This is an excellent pass from Howard. All the way across the ice, Wilkie wastes no time on that. And then it was Copeland again. Copeland off the feet from Wilkie. The Tigers bury it. They get the victory tonight. In the season opener, the Tigers knock off the Gophers. 3-2. The final score. He's not going to make this. What is he doing? There's no way. Look at him. Look, Look at his him. legs. <laughs> he's not going to move that thing. There's no way. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, he's yeah. actually... Oh, he's actually going to... Oh, he's going to try this? Oh. Come on, buddy. You got it. A uh, little bit more. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Get those hands in there. Push. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Your life doesn't revolve around energy efficiency, but by recycling your old fridge or freezer, you can get a $50 rebate. Save money and improve our community. Visit CSU.org. Buying a car from Vroom is so easy, all you need is a phone and a finger. Just scroll through amazing hand-picked low-mileage cars and tap to buy. <laughs> Thousands of cars priced below market value. Go to Vroom.com and pick your favorite. I wish we could afford to buy new furniture. 
What is this? It's your breakthrough from Cons Home Plus. Cons Low Payment Finder finds the lowest payment tailored to you. Good credit or building credit. Wow. I don't know how much time you got. I've got a good amount of time. My dad has told me forever that his dream is me playing in New York and signing a bagel deal. <laughs> I don't want to be this guy. Oh, somebody threw a football. I caught it with one hand. Yes! Hey! Would you mind uh, signing the Rock'em Sock'em Robots? And I'd love to for you to be the first to autograph it. That's like going to be like our Wonder Boy. Should I play professional sports now? Or mm -hmm. should I just keep telling jokes? I don't know, man. A half hour before each game, let AT&T Sportsnet get you up to speed with all the latest on your Astros, including initial thoughts from manager A.J. Hinch. The Astros pregame show, presented by Toyota.